Hello friends, on this page they have provided a list of free web APIs which we can use in our app or website and here I will be using one of these free APIs. I will provide a link to this page in description of my video. Now here in this video I will be using this API for dogs which is based on the Stanford dogs dataset and it doesn't require any API key or any other authority or authentication so I'll just click here on dogs here it says that we can simply use this URL in order to get a random picture of a dog now the result is a JSON string which contains a JSON object which contains these two keys status and message and the value of this message is the URL of the image of dog. So I have just copied this URL and I will use it in Sketchware. In Sketchware I will show the picture of a dog on my main page every 5 to 6 seconds. So for this I will use an image view. I will set its width to match parent and height to match parent and I will set scale type to fit center then in on create I will make this image view gone and here in components I have already added a request network component called rnet and a timer component called timer so in on create I will use this request network component to method get and URL here I will use the URL provided on that website this is https colon double slash dog dot ceo slash api slash breeds slash image slash random this will get the result which is a JSON object you can use any tag here so I am using A now after this the result will be on response request network on response and I will also use request network on error response so in request network on response here I have already created a map variable called dog I have added this map variable with name dog so what I will do is I will get the response to a map variable dog. So this means this JSON string will be converted into a map variable with two keys status and message. The value of message is URL of the image. So here I will set the image of image view using this URL image view 1 set image from URL the URL is map variable dog get key message so here you can see that the URL is stored with this key message that's why I used the key message here another thing which I will do is I will make the image view visible image view 1 set visible visible and after 5 seconds I have to change the image so for that I will use timer timer task after 5 seconds means 5000 milliseconds here I will again request for a different image so I, I will again use this block request network start network met, re, start network request to method get to URL I will again use this same URL with tag A that's all here now let's check this
Okay, so here's the app and this it loads the image of a dog every few seconds. This is the second image. It shows it for a few seconds, then it will change the image automatically.